Welcome to December the 21st and the winter solstice meditation. In the southern hemisphere, they will be having the summer solstice. And what is a solstice? Well, it's the beginning of a season. And today marks the official beginning of winter, the coldest season in the northern hemisphere. There's a myriad of cultures, religions and traditions that have long honoured the winter solstice. Often this is a time of great darkness and it's encouraged humanity to gather amongst loved ones and celebrate the rebirth or the return to the light. And this has been celebrated through several pagan cele uh, celebrations. And for us, it's a time near Christmas. So this year, this winter solstice in 2022, is a time to light a candle, to be grateful for what you have, and dream of where you still wish to go. The winter solstice marks the beginning of the Capricorn season. Equinox and solstices correspond to the cardinal zodiac signs. So during this time, we can strategize our plans, we can harness and go forward. We can in look back on all the things that have happened in 2022 and see how we can improve, how we can grow, how we can evolve into 2023. And at this moment, I'd like you just to get yourself prepared for a winter solstice meditation. To set up, you just want to find a place that is dark and quiet. As I said, you may want to light a candle to represent the light that's inside you, that creative spark that we'll be talking to. Maybe some essential oils or some frankincense or lemongrass. Whatever it is, create that space so that we can come to the center of your attention. So get yourself comfortable in a seated position on the floor or a chair. And if you're using a chair, just make sure your feet are fully planted on the ground. Close your eyes. Take several deep breaths, consciously focusing your mind on the present moment. And exhale through your mouth. Let go of any of that physical tension. And once you feel settled, allow the mouth to stay closed. Center your attention by following the movement of the breath. Inhale through the nose. Feel the breath moving through all parts into your lungs. Feel the diaphragm pressing down towards your pelvis, grounding you. Staying energetically grounded as you exhale and feel the breath moving up and out through your nose. And we can just watch the ebb and flow of the breath. Now see if you can make each part of the breath deeper and longer. Lengthen the spaces in between breaths and just noticing any emotions that come up in the stillness. It's common to feel fear when empty. The same feeling that many people have in winter. We are of nature, we are energetic beings. We are animated by our breath. Consider this, each breath is keeping you alive. We need both the inhalation and the exhalation. The life-giving breath and the cleaning release which creates more space for the next breath. Now as you continue to breathe deeply and you feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed, let's see how we can relate to the other aspects of ourselves. What can we let go of? What can we let rest in the darkness? Or even die away in order to make space for something new, more healthy, more exciting? Feel the full volume of your body pulsing with your breath. Feel its fullness, its emptiness, and the flow in between. And consider the health of your body, and as you ask this question, see what comes up in the space. What habits can I let go of that will help my body be more healthy and vibrant? And just sense the answer in your body.
Now connecting with your heart, take your awareness to your heart, your capacity to love and relate to others. Some relationships served a purpose in the past but no longer helpful. Ask yourself the following or change the wording, whatever it is, but what relationships can I let go in order to feel more emotionally spacious and loving? And just watch the movement of your heart. What answers arise? Many people are wired for self-criticism and negativity, that their belief systems are very limited. Once you open to a changing of your beliefs, you have the greatest potential to create more happiness in your life. Ask yourself, what habits or beliefs can I let go? Can I let die? In order to experience more clarity of my mind. Just give yourself some time to let any thoughts bubble to the surface in the answer to this question. Letting go of previous attachments in the body, the heart and the mind may get you closer to your spiritual connection. Allow the thoughts to rise, but don't unpack them or attach to them. Accept them, acknowledge them and just let them go. And then ask yourself this question. What can I let go of to experience a deeper sense of self? A deeper sense of connection with spirit? And just feel into the wholeness around you. Notice the warmth inside you. Imagine a spark of hope in your heart that grows to a flame. And then to beams of light radiating out of your body in every direction. Remember that this light has sprung from darkness. We needed to let go in this winter solstice. Meditation and experience a symbolic death to some aspects of our lives in order for a rebirth, new experiences. We need to visit the past and make peace in order to imagine the possibilities for the future. And just follow your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And just bring to mind something that has really filled your heart with light this year. Something that you've done or something that's happened that really makes you feel full of pride, full of love, full of gratitude. And sit with it for a moment. Just see how it feels as it rises. And we show gratitude for all around us. And then bring to mind something or somebody has done for you, which has helped you, which has made you feel good. And again, we show gratitude for that. And is there any point this year when you were in nature or somebody you didn't even know brought a smile to your face, the beauty Maybe it was a sunset, maybe it was walking through the woods, maybe someone just said hello. Bring it to mind. Sense and feel the gratitude and love and happiness we've had. And as we mentally light a candle in our mind, we light the way for 2023. And I'd like you now to bring to mind anything that you would like to achieve that you can manifest that you can see that you can feel what is 2023 about for you and allow this dark moment in the winter solstice of 22 to shine that light going forward for you to love for you to heal for you to grow and for you to find that purpose. To move forward into a year that will have its ups and downs. But you have a journey, a role, a purpose, a passion. 
walk that path. See yourself walking that path right now with a smile on your face, with a spring in your step. And then just take a nice breath in and come back to your breathing. Be grateful for all we have. Send love out to the universe. Send light out to the universe. Take a nice deep breath in, wiggle your fingers, and come back into the room. I hope you enjoyed that. God bless you all. Be love and give love. Have a wonderful winter solstice. Take care. Bye-bye.